This is what I see all day. Hello. Oh, frozen. Today I'm going to talk about the power of music. From a young age, I was really interested with the idea that you could create music and you could take music and put it into playlists based off the feeling that you have. I was watching the movie Balto one time and in the movie they said I got people bumps, that's what Boris says. And I was kind of thinking about that feeling that music gives you when it kind of, it reaches into your soul and it like gives you the shivers and you feel good, just like kind of that opening to Frozen with that song in it. It makes you feel uneasy, but it makes you feel uplifting at the same time. Goose tears is kind of what it's called too. It's when you get like that uh, goosebumpy feeling, but you also kind of get vulnerable in a way, but you kind of feel inspired and uplifted. It's, it's leaving the movie theater after watching a Disney movie. That's basically what the feeling is. So I sing in jazz choir and chorale. I've known the choral side of music and I've known the jazzy side of music. You can actually go watch my YouTube channel with all the concerts on it if you'd like to hear some awesome choral music or some jazzy music with awesome harmonies and just the feels. Or you can look at the doobly do that works too. But I was fascinated by the idea of making playlists out of songs based off of the feelings that I have. Here's a couple examples. I have the awe-inspiring playlist. So that's the playlist when you get the goosebumps. Relaxing, remembrance, Rock, memorable TV cartoon themes. Joan Matt's playlist, so when you have somebody that you know, you kind of remember songs you used to experience with them, so there's that one. Acapella, Halo, game soundtracks, Christmas, Disney soundtracks, classical music. Music is really personal. It's something that really, hopefully, reaches down inside of us and kind of speaks to us, depending on the message of the song and the type of elements in the song, but that's what makes it so diverse. We all have this capacity, I think, to listen to music and to try to understand it and to try to see how it's all connected. And that's a pretty cool idea that you can, you can like, listen to music and feel uplifted by it. It's something so central to our core. The Greeks say that music is the interaction of invisible, internal objects inside of us. The other perspective that they focused on was the outer perspective of astronomy, of movement of things and an out objects that are external. The planets, the stars, everything up in space. Holy, the musical collection between every single person is always going to be different in some way. Is that cool? You can feel emotion. You don't always need words to be able to feel like the emotion in a classical piece of music or the emotion in a Disney soundtrack or the emotion in something like Inception or Batman Begins or just you can feel it. Hans Zimmer, John Powell, you can just feel the music. It's so much creation at one time with so many people. It's very organic and it's all about association. That's the other thing that's really, really cool about music is you associate all these things with each other. You basically remember things. And that's what's really cool about music too. It's all about memory. You kind of build for yourself a life soundtrack, which is your collection of music, which is kind of like a collection of memories. And that's actually what I do with music. If you can really look at somebody's kind of music that they listen to, what's, so, what, what's their collection of music like? What's their life soundtrack? You can really kind of understand their perspective about things. Some people listen to music solely for the lyrics. And some people listen to music solely for the feeling of it, and they don't even pay attention to the lyrics, it just pumps them up. But if somebody really listens to music, you can actually see, kind of, see them complexly and see them as a different collection of a lot of characteristics, just like a different collection of a lot of songs. You can see how they feel when they're at their saddest and how they feel when they're at their happiest. It's just a fascinating concept. I like the idea that you can walk around in your house and have a song playing and like just live your life like it's kind of like a movie. It's not a movie, obviously, but it's still kind of cool that you can play music. Like you can put a speaker in your pocket or put earbuds on and shovel in the snow to the beat of some song that isn't even in real life. It's so central to us that you never really lose it. It's always with you. You can sing, you can dance, you can do these things that don't really have harm to other people. Like you can sing in your mind. I'm screaming like an old man in my mind right now. Now I'm whispering in my mind. The music is so central to us that it survives. Music has lived for so long. We still have records of it. We still have everything. It's incredible 
how central it is because it lasts so long. You see these classical music pieces that were written centuries ago, and it's just amazing that they're still here. We still have records of them. That's how, that's how powerful it is. Music is about synergy, and it can be vocal, and it can be instrumental. It's so diverse, it's so organic, it can be a lot of different things. It's all about the feels. When I hear a song, it triggers a memory. Back to when I was four, and I listened to Jungle Boogie or something like that. It's, it's incredible that you can remember things like that. But that's what music does for me. It helps me, especially the lessons in, in music too. The lessons are really, really important in music. Music ties to so many subjects because it's so central to us. It's language in the lyrics. It's mathematical. It's about not being a one buttock player and being like, oh, I'm only gonna be stiff or I'm gonna be totally crazy like this. You know, it's, it's about balance. You can, you can sway to it, you can dance to it. It's about lyrics. It's history because we, the lyrics in music talk about history. You see music change over time. It's art because you have the harmonies and you have colors. It's physical activity, believe it or not. Singing's not easy. Look at Pavarotti. Singing is a difficult thing to do. So it's physical, it's science, because there's a lot going on in your throat when you're singing. Your vocal folds are thinning and widening. Go on YouTube and look up vocal folding in somebody's throat. It's all subjects. But isn't every subject another subject in some way, right? Try to, try to listen really well to music. Listen not just for the lyrics, or not just for the harmonies and songs and noises. Listen to the whole thing. Listen to the idea. There's a lot in lyrics. It's not like you just whip out a song. It takes effort to make a song. More effort, the better, actually. Listen well and identify what's interesting about music to you, because a lot of what draws us is what's interesting to us. Give yourself the feels more often. I know that kind of sounds weird for all the things, but just pay attention to what makes you, what gives you goosebumps in a good way, not in a fearful way. Go give yourself some good feels. Do it. Project 14, day 10. I don't have a wide angle lens. You can't really see out here. That's my video. It's Forrest Gump yesterday. Allow music to add value to your life. Thank you for watching. See ya. Bah! <sighs> That's when you get like, ooh, That's cool, that harmony, that cadence right there. I'm gonna be totally crazy like this in here. I'm gonna be totally crazy like this in here. I'm crazy.